Hello, this is Trent Smith with the National Weather Service of Missoula, Montana, doing the planning briefing for Thursday, October 3rd. Quickly looking at the weather matrix, we do have a fairly impactful cold front that's going to hit the area on Friday, bringing warm and dry conditions, plus a lot of wind to the area. Uh, there's many red flag warnings and uh, high wind warnings and wind advisories out. And then some wind lingering into Saturday and then being fairly dry and benign uh, the rest of the week. Uh, just quickly looking at the current satellite uh, right now is a kind of a transitory ridge kind of moving into the Pacific Northwest giving the quiet weather today on Thursday um, but you can see that dynamic cold front starting to form uh, off the coast and that's what will impact the area predominantly late Friday afternoon uh, into the uh, Friday evening time frame. Uh, just kind of looking at the minimum RH forecast or relative humidity uh, for the coming week, uh, predominantly staying into the teens to low 20% range, especially across southwest Montana. Uh, the rest of the area will probably have min RHs more in the 20s to low 30%, but really that southwest Montana is going to be uh, fairly dry uh, for at least the next uh, seven days or so. And then looking at the winds, uh, Friday is really being highlighted across southwest Montana, and most of this wind is prefrontal. This is just pressure gradient winds uh, coming into effect, and then during the evening to overnight hours is when we uh, the frontal uh, will actually move, move through the area, causing some pretty strong uh, winds across uh, all of uh, uh, the northern Rockies. So quickly, just kind of looking at a uh, model composite uh, reflectivity, what the radar will probably look like uh, starting at 1 p.m. Uh, Friday afternoon. And just kind of going through the evening, you can really start seeing that front start forming up from the Tri-Cities up into the northern Idaho Sandpoint area. Uh, by mid-afternoon and then it's just going to push uh, across the area. This front will bring some precipitation but it's really the strong gusty winds right along the front uh, that's going to be bringing a lot of impact uh, to the area. So kind of just want to run through this real quickly. I have this going until midnight so let me go back and run through that again. So starting at one o'clock you can see that front form and then it'll push across the northern Rockies. Then we'll get some uh, showers that will linger uh, overnight, but these will be predominantly uh, hunkered to the higher terrain. So looking at uh, the probability of gusts uh, greater than 50 miles per hour, so this can be up to damaging winds. So some of the areas I kind of want to highlight. So kind of southwest Montana, most of this wind is actually prefrontal uh, during the afternoon hours, and really that Dillon to uh, Ennis is really a high probability. Um, out here, uh, more on the Camas Prairie, parts of north central Idaho around Orofino, uh, that's going to be about mid-afternoon, right when the uh, front starts uh, coming into play. And then as that front moves through, we can start seeing some impacts from those strong winds mixing down to the surface across uh, northwest Montana, and then again across west central, predominantly along the uh, east side of the Bitterroot Range, uh, along that uh, uh, in the Bitterroot uh, Valley uh, area. It could be a, a fairly impactful uh, area. So again, we actually have high wind warnings out for a good chunk of western Montana and southwest Montana, including Lemhi. Uh, we have red flag warnings out for southwest Montana and then also parts of north central Idaho. And then we have wind advisories for many other areas just due to how this front's going to move through and cause some big impacts. But there is the potential for some uh, uh, a wetting rain, a decent amount of rain. So this is the probability of a tenth of an inch associated with this front. Clearwater, Idaho, uh, Clearwater County in Idaho has the best chance of around 80% chance of getting a, a tenth of an inch. Um, but again, a lot of downsloping is going to occur in, in the valleys of western Montana. So the probability really kind of drops off and is kind of more hunkered to the higher terrain. But this is kind of ending at 6 a.m. on Saturday. Uh, so the best chance for uh, uh, precipitation is going to be Friday night uh, time frame. Looking at the 8 to 14 day outlook, it still looks to be hot and dry as the ridge of high pressure will be kind of over this area, so really no big pattern change uh, that we're seeing at this time. So that's the end of my briefing. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at the number on the screen or go to our website. And the next recorded briefing will be on October 6th.